is a new foldable in town. The Huawei Mate Access 2 is Huawei's latest and most impressive foldable phone thus far. Improving on last year's design, the Huawei Mate Access 2 brings an impressively flat, lightweight, and durable body featuring Huawei's True Chroma display with 120Hz refresh rate and new generation Falcon Wing hinge design that allows the display to sit perfectly flat when folded. And look! There's no visible crease, nor is there one you can find by feel. On paper, it certainly seems that the Huawei Mate Access 2 has the ingredients it needs to challenge the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3's reputation as a go-to foldable on the local market. Despite the latter housing two fast, dynamic AMOLED screens and a 5G-capable processor in its sturdy, water-resistant design. But does it really? Be sure to watch the rest of the video to find out. First, let's talk about the hardware, where both devices really shine compared with traditional foldables. Huawei markets the Mate Access 2 as an ultra-flat, ultra-light, and super-durable foldable, and rightfully so. The Huawei Mate Access 2 uses a double-rotating Falcon Wing hinge design, which allows the display to be folded completely flat, with a much less obvious crease running across the middle. It also uses light yet sturdy materials such as a 3D fiberglass back to achieve a weight of only 255 grams. That's lighter than the Apple iPhone 13 Pro Max despite the Mate Access 2's tablet size 7.8 inch foldable screen. More impressively, Huawei says the Mate Access 2 is one of the toughest foldables it has ever built. Combining an innovative composite screen structure and a hinge reinforced by advanced MIM steel, giving it 2.5 times the drop resistance and 2.8 times the impact resistance of its predecessor. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 is also built to last and sports a beautifully crafted solid aluminum frame, but that frame is chunkier and heavier than that of the Huawei foldable. Plus, the Korean company's hinge design leaves a noticeable cap when the main screen is folded and the display is flat and shows a visible crease in tablet mode. The Z Fold 3 is also noticeably bulkier when closed, coming in at 16mm at its thickest point. It's literally as thick as two phones tacked together. Compared with the rear design of the Mate Access 2, the back of the current Gen Fold also looks basic, even slightly planned, while offering less resistance to fingerprints and smudges. As for the main displays, the Mate Access 2 packs a 7.8-inch OLED screen with a higher pixel density versus the Galaxy Z Fold 3's slightly smaller 7.6-inch panel. Both screens have a suitably fast refresh rate of 120Hz which allows for smoother scrolling and animations and more fluid gameplay and they're especially great for watching videos and editing documents and other productivity tasks. In tablet mode, the displays look very much alike and deliver a similar and impressive viewing experience. Once you fold the phones though, you'll notice several big changes. The Mate Access 2 adopts a clean, outward folding design and a 6.5-inch OLED cover screen that has similar dimensions to a regular smartphone display. Meanwhile, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 gets a smaller 6.2-inch secondary display with a weirdly narrowed 25 to 9 aspect ratio that doesn't feel comfortable for everyday use. We've had a much easier time using the Mate Access 2's cover screen for viewing content, gaming, typing, and editing documents, but we can say the same about Samsung's foldable. The Mate Access 2 features the Huawei Image camera system and software powered by Huawei XD Optics and the True Chroma engine for brighter and more accurate colors. On the back, you'll find a 50 megapixel main camera assisted by a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle camera and an 8 megapixel zoom option that offers OIS and up to 3 times optical zoom or 30 times digital zoom. For selfies, you can use the rear-facing camera system while the outer display acts as your viewfinder. There's also a 10.7 megapixel front camera if you just want to take quick selfies. 
But the real star here is the software. Thanks to Huawei's proprietary algorithms, the Mate Access 2 can capture punchy colors and faithfully represent the subject without oversaturating the bright colors. As for Samsung's foldable, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 packs a triple camera array on the back and offers optical image stabilization on its main and telephoto cameras too, just like the Mate Access 2. Similarly, you can use its three 12-megapixel rear cameras to take selfies, although Samsung has also included a 4-megapixel under-display camera on the main screen. In practice, both phones take bright and pleasant images with vivid color, good exposure, and wide dynamic range. However, the Galaxy Z Fold 3 lags a little behind Huawei's ultra-premium foldable, mainly in terms of color and brightness when shooting low-light scenes. The higher zoom range of the Mate Access 2 is another decisive advantage, especially if you're into landscape and architectural photography. Battery life is not a problem on both models. The Mate Access 2 has a bigger 4,600 mAh battery compared with the Z Fold 3's 4,400 mAh cell, but both typically deliver all day usage on a single charge. When it comes to charging, though, the Mate Access 2 is a clear winner here boasting Huawei's 66W supercharged standard compared with the Fold's 25W cable charging. With more than top of the wattage, the latest Mate takes half the time to fully charge. Both phones are powered by Qualcomm's Snapdragon 888 chipset, which delivers a smooth experience and is capable of handling most modern games at high settings without stuttering. Keep in mind that the Galaxy Z Fold 3 uses the 5G variant of the Snapdragon 888, whereas the Mate Access 2 is limited to the chip's 4G version. Now let's talk about the smart features and multitasking options for each device. The new Mate Access 2 includes App Gallery with Paddle Search that makes downloading your favorite apps a whole lot easier. Of course, there's also the Super Device software system which allows the phone to perfectly complement your other Huawei products. You can seamlessly pair the foldable with your Huawei smartwatch without opening your phone's Bluetooth settings or with your MateBook laptop wirelessly using the PC Manager app. The Mate Access 2 likewise lets you use gestures, floating windows, and split-screen mode which lets you run two apps side-by-side -side for easier multitasking on the main display in tablet mode. There's also a nifty little feature called multi-window talk that lets you open your favorite apps from the side of the panel. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 has a similar edge panels feature and it also lets you open two apps simultaneously in a split-screen orientation on top of other multi-window settings. The Samsung DeX app, meanwhile, allows you to connect the Z Fold 3 to a PC or TV to power a desktop experience. Nothing beats the convenience of Super Device, though, as everything you need is already pre-installed in your device, no additional downloads required. Super Device also supports NFC technology for quick tap-to-pair functionality. If you have a lot of products made by Huawei, then the Mate Access 2 makes more sense to purchase since it unlocks certain pairing and collaboration features you only find in the Huawei Echo system. There's no doubt about it. The Huawei Mate Access 2 and Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 are top-tier, ultra-premium foldables with the specs, features, and pricing to match. However, in terms of the folding technology, camera, and overall user experience, we think that Huawei's latest foldable comes out slightly on top. Not only does the Huawei Mate Access 2 boast a more attractive design with a bigger and easier to use cover display, it also comes with a much faster 66 watt fast charging that allows the phone to be charged in half the time. And if image quality is a decisive factor in your decision, then the new Mate makes a case for itself thanks to Huawei Image Technology, X Diffusion 2 Coma Image Engine, and its longer zoom range. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 impresses with a 5G-enabled Snapdragon 888 processor and a water-resistant body capable of wireless charging. Best of all, 
The phone boasts two flagship grade AMOLED displays with vibrant colors, high brightness, and 120 Hz refresh rate. In the Philippines, the Huawei Mate Access 2 has a 99,999 suggested retail price and comes with a free pre-order bundle worth 20,194. While the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 is priced at 95,990 for 512 gigs of storage.